Today we're going to start on a new project for the botanical garden. We're going to make a music garden uh, for the little children to come and play and make a noise with. So we're going to use some recycled materials. This happens to be a piece of culvert. Um, it's pretty mangled on both ends, um, but uh, we're going to we're going to use this. We're going to try to make us a mushroom, and this is going to be the the stump part of the mushroom. It's already squished in this direction a little bit, so it makes this part wider and than that part. We're going to call this the bottom, I think, and we're going to trim this off square as we can, and trim this end off square, and we want about a two and a half, three foot section here that's that's clean, and uh, then we'll clean that all up and uh, get the rust off and paint it, and we're going to make us a big old huge. Uh, we got a metal disc that we've uh, a steel disc that we'll try to dome into the mushroom cap and then attach them. cleaned up. Um, we, we still have to address our edge up here. It's pretty sharp. And the bottom edge, I'll do a little bit, but we're going to sink this in concrete, so I don't think we'll worry about a whole lot of that bottom edge. But the top edge will clean up smooth so that our circle can fit down on this. This is our next piece. We're going to put this on top of a um, rim, like a car tire rim, and beat down on it in the center and see if we can dish it at least some so it'll fit up on top and kind of look like a mushroom. If we can dish it a whole lot that would be even better but it's, it's pretty thick. Um, and so that's going to be our next our next little bit of this project. I hate to weld on this too much. The outside now it doesn't have hardly any of its original coating on it but the inside is still coated with galvanized and we go welding on that that produces poisonous fumes and we, that's bad for you so we don't want that. Um, this is this is plain steel, so it, it's not going to hurt anything to weld on that. So we we'll, we may decide that we'll weld something to this and bolt it to this. I think is what we want to have in mind if we get this to dish. Well, this is where we this is where we made our fire for our mushroom top, and we built it out of wood and coal. Uh, it's had firewood, put it on there, got the firewood going good put some coal on it and we have a, a pipe here that's right here and we had a leaf blower attached to this you got to keep steady air in your in your pipe otherwise if you take once you get your fire going if you take the leaf blower off flames will come out over here and we put these blocks up just to kind of knock the heat off of our leaf blower operator and then right here we have our car hub our rim, that's the tire rim, and we would get it hot, we'd bring it over here, and we'd hit on this thing with big eight pound sledgehammers, and, and once if it was hot, it would it would move, it would move pretty good. We were moving three, uh, five sixteenths thick steel, which is pretty thick, um, and it was about 28 inches across when it started, and we would, we beat down the center, and we did that uh, probably less than 10 times to get the shape that you see uh, of the finished product. But it seemed to work okay. We did improve our system. We were just laying it on top of the fire, the piece, big piece of metal. Uh, the second go round, we started putting some coal on top of the metal 
uh, just green coal to, to help insulate it, and that seemed to help a whole lot to keep the heat in and made it heat up faster. So that did seem to work. Our mushroom top here. This is a crazy thick 5 16 mile steel, and we have heated it in a big fire outside and had the leaf blower blowing into it. Put it over top of a uh, wheel, um, like a tire wheel, a metal, the metal part of your tire, and beat down on it with some sledgehammers, and just been doing that for a couple of times. And we've we've got it dinged up pretty good, and it's high on this side a little bit, but I guess we're gonna have to stop. We got a time frame issue, so. Um, it's looking mushroomy enough. We're gonna we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna weld it to the top of our uh, culvert that we uh, showed y'all cleaning up before, and uh, we're gonna get this painted up, put this in place. This will be part of the music garden at the Southern Virginia Botanical Garden. So let me show you what we're gonna do. Since we've heated it up with our coal fire outside, it has uh, developed. A, scale on it and in fact it's, it's set outside one night and had dew on it so I know some scale and some rust so we're going to clean it up with a wire brush. That's us cleaned up the, the bottom of the mushroom uh, and off the rust, a little bit of rust that was on it and the uh, most of the forge scale. What we're planning is that we're going to put three legs on this thing since it doesn't sit flat on our on our culvert as I knew it wouldn't after you beat on it like this. Um, we're going to we're going to put three legs on it so we can kind of twist it around and make it look as level as we can. Um, no mushroom is perfectly level, so it doesn't really have to be level, but we want it to look as as good as we can to make it look like a mushroom and we'll use those three legs to leave a little gap between this and the uh, culvert and then hopefully that will make this ring as you can hear when you beat on it and the culvert will make another different sound when you rub on it or tap on it it's a different thickness and we're also going to put three legs on the bottom of the culvert with rebar just three rebar legs and that'll be what anchors it into the ground and we'll leave a gap maybe two, three inches um, between the bottom of the culvert and the ground. Uh, and that will again will leave us a hollow place so that it'll make it ring ring. I hope is what we're getting out of that. So we'll see how that works, but we're gonna set our culvert up here and uh, check and try to draw us what we where we want our legs to be. We're just going to set this up here and we're going to try to center as best we can in our top here. And we can twist it one way or the other if we need to. But we're going to try to get it pretty centered on the, the top of this thing. that I've bent on our vise, clamped down here, got our um, culvert set up here. I'm trying to look at it to get level and flat and straight and stuff. I've got a couple um, pieces of rebar welded on the bottom here that's going to mount it into the concrete. 
and I'm trying to get this thing adjusted just so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it up together, just a couple little small tacks just to hold it. And then we're going to set it up and see what it looks like, see if we like that shape, that size. I think that will do for our mushroom. Looks more or less even. And we're going to roll him back up here and finish welding him. Alright, this is our completed mushroom and Steve Thomas painted this for us. He's a, a local artist and, and does a wonderful job and uh, I think it looks a whole lot like a, the mushroom we picked out on the computer. We picked out us a picture. It was king something. It was a great big mushroom but its top was kind of dark brown, kind of motley looking and then the bottom of it was kind of a lighter shade motley looking and I think he's done a wonderful job. We're going to install this at the Southern Virginia Botanical Garden. If you've enjoyed watching this video about us making the musical mushroom for the Southern Virginia Botanical Garden Music Garden. Um, if you're in Southern Virginia, please stop by and see us or sign up for a class and definitely go over to the Southern Virginia Botanical Garden and check out our uh, kids music garden. It's free of charge, open uh, seven days a week. Um, 365. All our contact information is at the description below. If you're interested in classes on blacksmithing, knife making, cast iron cooking, survival, uh, or any of the leather making, any of the other classes we offer, we'd love to have you and hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you a whole lot.